Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Community Medicine Made Easy. So many will ask what is the need of this YouTube channel? This YouTube channel is the need of the hour because in many of the colleges, especially private medical colleges, community medicine or public health is treated as a vestigial organ which is not needed anymore in as a medical subject. It is being treated as an unwanted subject all over India. It's not uh, specific to any part of India. It is all over the world, all over India. Sorry. So, in such a scenario, many students are not getting the real grasp of the subject, and they are also thinking the students from their seniors they are thinking this subject. Uh, you know, they will say that oh, community medicine is a subject for sleeping. Whenever a senior comes to you, he will say. Community medicine is a subject for sleeping. So, when subject anymore. But you should remember, India is a country still fighting poverty. India is a country still fighting uh, social problems. India is a country still fighting unemployment. India is a country still fighting, uh, you know, communicable diseases. India is a country where we have a problem of, you know. Uh, cleanliness or India is a country where we have a problem of inequality India is a country with lot of lot of problems it is only a developing nation so in such a scenario community medicine is a subject which should have been given the most important you know uh, you know focus uh, even though NMC provides a wide criteria for community medicine at the end of the day what happens is it is being diluted when it comes to every medical college they dilute according to the whims and fancies because most of the medical colleges are either run by non medicos or the medical or the clinical doctors consider community medicine as a vestigial organ they think this is nothing but try to write something and get some marks okay let, let it be there so we, now we will go why this subject is very relevant in today's scenario and also what makes the subject very cardinal to you to medical education and your further practice so coming to that i would like to introduce you the subject of research so what is the research uh, you know i will make it very simple and with any doubt you can ping me or you can uh, comment comment below so that i can see your questions uh, you know i can take uh, you know individual classes for you online session offline session any subject related matter you can ping me or message me i will be uh, you know very welcoming for your questions because i will say why okay in the coming next slide so what is medical research medical research also known as health research refers to the process of using scientific methods here here you use very important word what is scientific methods you know from sixth standard we are learning about the word scientific methods with the aim to produce knowledge so this knowledge is what we say as evidence about what about human diseases the prevention and treatment of illness and promotion of health so this is the very basic definition of research so the word very important is you have to remember is scientific method i will come to that in the next slide so health research refers to the process of using scientific method this is a method scientific method with the aim to produce what knowledge or evidence about human diseases prevention and treatment of illness and promotion of health coming to the scientific method from every from our childhood we are learning about the scientific method that is the basic algorithm of scientific methodology is first is observation i would always say the you know example of sir isaac newton sir isaac newton observed a apple falling from the tree an apple is which is falling from the tree so isaac newton observed why this apple is going downwards and not going up that is observation then he's asking the question yeah why the apple is going you know downwards not going up that is question third is a hypothesis generation there should be a force which is pulling the apple downwards that is why the apple is going downwards not upward that is hypothesis is generated and we will do what test the hypothesis by using various methods i will come to that in the further classes and after testing we have something called the analysis we analyze that and analyze the data then we have the something called observation and prediction based on our analysis this is a cycle going on this is a very important cycle which which propels the system of medicine so 
any problem in health any problem in medical science any ways to treat medical science will rely on all these algorithms that is observation and predictions asking the right question that's why i told you uh, you can ask any type of questions comment below or you can uh, you know ask for a session for you for clearing your doubts anytime i'll be uh, you know available for you if you are willing to join these classes okay test then we do is the testing of the hypothesis then we do the analysis and then we do the you know again go to the observation predictions okay so this is the cycle we provide which is forms the basis basis of evidence generation which is the uh, whole foundation of modern medicine so coming to next slide what is the science which helps you to use the methodology what is the science which produces evidence in modern medicine the science is called as epidemiology so hearing the word don't be uh, surprised or anything epi means what among demo means population ology means science so among population science from the name itself is very clear among population science that is the definition of epidemic we'll come to more uh, you know def more more def definition of more clearer definition of epidemiology epidemiology is study of distribution and determinants two words you should remember one is distribution second is determinants of health related states and events in specified population and application of this study to control health problem so that is the basic science which helps you to generate evidence epidemiology study of distribution and determinants of health related states and events in specified populations and the application of the study to control health problems that is the fundamental science fundamental science be, uh, behind uh, generation of evidence okay now coming what is the scope of research scope of research has you know one is getting additional or new information second is verifying and confirming available information and third is explaining cause and effect relationship these are the three important scope of the research what are the questions we can answer are more of diphtheria and pertussis reported in among adults in recent times that is one question which is in getting additional or new information what are the differences in full genome structure of hbv and hgv viruses verify uh, next part is verifying and confirmation of available information are etiologies of pediatric pneumonia different in the children aged 5 or less in developed and resource limited countries have the incidence and the complications of diabetes changed with increasing consumption of pre cooked and packed that is a question verifying which is already an available information we are trying to verify it and explain the cause very important part cause and effect what causes what does presence of a particular code receptor of cd4 cells protect against hiv infection are breast cancers more common uh, you know among Uh, common in breast implant recipients so these are the various amount of questions and uh, you know various scope of research where we can answer lot of questions in different sections that's the importance of it so now you could understand that is why any questions the answers lies in epidemiology any questions behind you know practice the answer lies in the epidemiology so that is why it born it is the backbone of medical science so this is the subject which is neglected all over india you should remember that is why i took this channel to you so that i could explain it in simpler terms and make it you know more comprehensible for you so that you don't miss the the crux of the subject okay so coming to uh, you know epidemiology who founded it yes the father of modern epidemiology is none other than sir john snow and he is known as the father of modern epidemiology i have a question for you please look out for who is the father of epidemiology and why john snow when you hear john snow the first thing which comes to your mind is uh, you know game of thrones it is not the john snow from the game of thrones it is the john snow who lived in london in the 18th century so why he is very important 
he is very important because he defined epidemiology in the most you know the most simplest manner to us and not only he defined it uh, you know by he by his work by his work, practical work on ground we could understand what really epidemiology is that is why he is regarded as the father of modern epidemiology so how it happened is a small story i'll uh, try to make it very simpler in 18th 19th century uh, you know cholera was very rampant after the industrial revolution uh, revolution in united kingdom london england there was lot of filth or oh, you know around the city and uh, cleanliness was not there uh, you know lot of problems happening in amidst of all this cholera epidemic was killing lot of people and the um, the, the theory which existed in uh, london or the medical science because medical science was at its infancy at that point in time so all doctors believed in something called miasma theory which stated that all diseases are caused due to foul smell and john snow made john snow uh, refuted that theory so i would like all my students even if i say something verifiable i would like to you to question certain ideologies where you feel sir this is not right so this is something i would like to you know you know have a different perspective on it sir i have another question i have another view on, view on that problem sir uh, this could be explained in another manner those these kind of things you can ask in my class i will give you full freedom because john snow refuted the miasma theory that formed the basis of a new discovery of the subject of epidemiology so what john snow did he didn't believe in miasma theory he believed or he understood he used his brain he thought rationally there was something happening which is causing all the deaths so what he did was very simple thing he took the map of london and spotted spot mapped where the deaths were happening so he found out many of the deaths were happening in his particular neighborhood and not in the other neighborhood so he uh, you know his hypothesis was that something here in this part is causing the deaths and something here is not something here is something here is not causing the death that is simple um, you know common sense he used the common sense so first thing is observation he observed the cholera death he you know spotted you know uh, the, the, the drew the map of london and spotted spot mapped the deaths happening all over the city then what he did was you know he analyzed and he investigated and he found out the deaths due to cholera was scattered around a certain locality and not very much in other locality he refuted miasma theory and found out that water source in the locality where deaths were high was from the water company which took water from the downstream of the river thames which was polluted by the industry so what was happening here there was a river flowing you know the river thames the river thames is the lifeline of london so what is happening here uh, you know this is the consider this as upstream upstream and this as downstream so water company which took water from the downstream and supply to all these houses here had the maximum number of death and the houses which took water from the upstream which, which was relatively not polluted have was having relatively lesser number of deaths so what is happening here when water uh, went from the upstream to downstream there were a lot of industries in between uh, upstream and downstream and when water came uh, to the downstream it was totally polluted and the water company took water from the downstream and was uh, distributing water to the companies uh, you know to the houses uh, uh, here so he propounded a hypothesis that it is not the foul smell which is causing cholera or the death it is the polluted water polluted water so there is some, some association between polluted water and cholera so here he observed he asked a question he generated a hypothesis and 100 years later it was proved by the germ theory of diseases by none other than louis pasteur this is how science grows this is how science evolves this is how science goes up from one shoulder to another so this is very important for you to understand the basic of basic story of john snow and the story of epidemiology so here what he did was he understood the distribution of the disease and he also propounded a theory for what cause what is causing the both distribution and determinants distribution is how the disease is distributed in a community and determinants is nothing but what causes the disease 
what is causing it, determining with what is what is the cause of the disease what are the factors which is causing the disease okay so we, two things we learned the story of you know, distribution uh, about distribution i will say something in specific the epidemiology is concerned with frequency and pattern of health events in a population for example covid 19 covid 19 um causes maximum death in the old old age whereas relatively lesser number of deaths in the younger age so that is one behave pattern of that particular disease that is also recorded in distribution how what is the pattern of the disease what is the time what what time you know what season place person these are all explained in the distribution epidemiology is a study of how diseases are distributed in population and factors that influence or determine the distribution why does a disease develop in some people and not in others the premise underlying epidemiology is that disease illness and ill health are not randomly distributed in human body it is not randomly it is not even random something is causing it if john snow believe cholera is a random event why should he investigate he he knew that something is out of order which is causing the disease to occur so this is how we would like to take the class forward which is based on concepts which is based on ideas which is based on you know discussions which is based on uh, solid philosophy of science so Uh, you know which which makes this class totally different from all other community medicine classes you have learned, you have heard till now so i want your support here i want you know how many of you uh, want a personal session how many of you want an offline session so if you want a personal session or offline session or any doubt clarification i can give one on one also there is not an issue for me so please comment like subscribe at this channel so that i can put in more effort put in more videos 